Hi, my name is Terry Ryber, and I'm going to take you through the step of documenting non-functional requirements. In an earlier video, I documented functional requirements, and many people would ask the question, what's the difference between a functional requirement and a non-functional requirement? Well, a functional requirement documents the features of a system. <clears throat> they would be the features that uh, a business user would interact with, like might be reports or particular pages or screens and how the things they want to see and how they want to interact with it. Non-functional requirements are not related to any specific feature in the system. They pertain to things like cost, the cost of the, the, the software, or it could relate to the schedule, how soon you want the software to be ready, whether you have any technical preferences, uh, things like security, backup and recovery, system responsiveness, etc., etc., etc. So I have in front of me a business requirements document, and I move to the page that's non-functional requirements. This, is a, this example I'm using is creating a business association website. So a business association said that they wanted a website, and it you know, talks about what the business association's goals are, who are the members of the business association, etc., etc., etc. But this particular part is the non-functional requirements. So normally you'd work with stakeholders and you'd, you'd have one of these grids here, the table, but it would be empty. There'd be no requirements in it. Now to save time, I've already put some requirements in there, so I'm going to take you through them a little bit. Each requirement would have a requirement ID. As you can see, the first requirement here has requirement NF, standing for non-functional, requirement 001. And then it has a requirement statement, the website shall cost less than $1,000 to build. So each requirement has requirement ID so that if you're reviewing it with your stakeholders and they say, oh, I've got a problem with that requirement about backups, and you're going, what do you mean, what, what requirement? Oh, NF004. Okay, everybody can look at NF004. I know that there's a question uh, about, that particular web, about that particular requirement. So every requirement gets a requirement ID. Each requirement has a requirement statement, and it usually has the word shall in it, which is a best practice. And then each requirement has a must or a want. Must means that if a vendor or whoever's building this website, that requirement has to be met or else you're, that, that website is, that solution is, is basically, you know, rejected. It, it's not, it has, all must must be met. A want is like a nice to have. So you see requirement NF005 has a want. So I'm going to take you through these requirements really quickly. They said they wanted a website that cost less than $1,000 to build. They wanted a website that would cost less than $300 a year to host and maintain. So that's an ongoing cost. Um, they, NF003 talks about uh, basically security, technical security. They say they don't want the website to be hacked, which is good. Um, NF004, they want the website backed up so if anything did happen they could restore it and, and get the original contents back online again and the last requirement is a scheduling type requirement it said they want basically they want the website built within 60 days of securing someone to build this website for them so this is a fairly simple example but in large projects you could have dozens even hundreds of non-functional requirements. Large projects you could get the IT uh, department involved. They might say, well, we only want a solution that's you know web-based and cloud-hosted and has to have these kind of security standards and you know da 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 da. And you can get into quite a few non-functional requirements. But again, they're they aren't anything that you directly experience in the system. They're not like a wish list of the features you want. They're more not related to any specific feature, more about cost, schedule, backup, security, um, if there's any technical preferences, we want a web-based web system versus a non-web-based and that sort of thing. So that's basically what I have to say about non-functional requirements. If you like more information, you can go to my website www.softrec.com. That's S-O-F-T, soft, R-E-Q, dot com. And I've got uh, business requirements templates like the template you see here there's blank templates and then there's this particular template that's that's been completed and so you can see what one looks like 
with all the information in it for a business association website. And I've also got blanked templates. I've got frequently asked questions and then links to uh, my various training videos on how to do uh, requirements. And again, this is for business users who who have to you know pick a system or get a system built. Um, this could it could also be for business analysts um, who want to see how to build a business requirements document. But thanks again, and I hope you have a great day.